to my channel and today we are in the village and I will be showing you who don't know where Africans get their drinking water. We are getting, we are going to the well. Is it the well? Ni well. You ni well. That's not a river. We are going to, is it a well? You guys will see. They are just tubes where, <laughs> where water is coming out from. But it's drinking water. Okay. I'm going with my brother there with an orange t-shirt. And you can see how green this place looks. This is our village. And it's been years. Yesterday I was asking my grandmother uh, where that, the source of that water comes from. And she told me it is just underground. Underground, yes, from underground. <laughs> my brother is trying to correct me, my vocabulary. But please, but please. <laughs> yes, my brother is trying to correct my vocabulary. But mm -mm, you guys get it. If you get it, you get it. So yeah, we are going there and uh, I was, I was saying, I was asking my grandmother yesterday, how comes this water is always coming out and it is always very fresh, very clean, very cool. I was like, I mean, the, the, doesn't the source get exhausted? But she told me no. And I asked her the source of this water and she told me the source comes from underground, from the rocks. So, yeah, so let us go and you will see where uh, people in the village in Africa get their drinking water. Super clean, super cool and fresh, of course. Yeah, and this is basically the environs. Kereris juu tuteremkia hapa. Sikunana kuna nji hapa? Najua mtoni ni uko. We just teremka like this and go that way. At least to show people how this place looks. Yeah. <clears throat> Peter, 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 Peter. <laughs> yeah, we, we are using this route so that I can just uh, show you the environs. And these are tea leaves. And uh, Kiss is generally located in Kenya, the western part of Africa, in a specific place called Nyanza. We. Nini? <laughs> My brother is telling me the western part of Kenya. <laughs> Of yes, the western part of Kenya in Nyanza, we are the ones bordering the Luos who are nylots, and Kisses do a lot of tea farming. <clears throat> this is where most tea in Kenya uh, uh, is sourced from, and also most tea are from all over the world. And we have huge, huge farms. This is just like a drop in the ocean. Uh, most places where generally Africans and specifically here in Kenya, they get their drinking water is from, like you will get like it is a valley. As you can see, we've come from up there. You see, it's like, it's like a hill. We've come from up there and the river is normally downhill. So, Nini Kereri? So, <laughs> so most, most, most of those i don't know i'll just show you but it is not a well and it is not a river it is just a place that has been dug where the water is sourced from and the this water comes from the rocks underground and it is normally very clean very very clean and this is another source of water that i've never seen but as you can see here is downhill yeah and kisses also grow a lot of trees we grow trees for commercial purposes huh? Yeah, we grow millions of trees for commercial purposes. And this is an example, a small example of uh Kereri in Ah uh, ah uh, that that nini. Uh, this is a stream. This is a stream here, but that one there where the water is coming from. Now let me show you. Now uh most Misawa, I understand. I will go there. I'm just showing them this because I didn't know this is here. <clears throat> so this is a source of stream, not stream. This here is a stream, this here. Let me zoom in so that you can see. This here, it is a stream. And these streams are normally created after this, this, now how is this thing called? I don't know in English how it is called, but it is normally dug and it is dug underground so that water can come from, from the rocks underground. It is very, very, very super, super, super clean. And it is written here, Honorable Dr. James Gesami. He's the one who, who put this here. Eh? Initiated it. My brother is here to correct my English. 
yes 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 now this this these things it's not a well these things where the water <laughs> come from they are normally uh dug or uh initiated <laughs> No, they are normally initiated downhill. You can see we've come from up there. So coming down like this, they are normally put uh, downhill here. And uh, they also place this thing here where people can wash their uh, where people can wash their clothes. So if you have your basin, you place it on top here. Yeah, and um, that is basically it. But I will go to the major one because this is very new. And in fact, I didn't know it's here. It's just that we've used a different route and I got it here. Yeah, one thing that I did not tell you is that um, I've not mentioned is that Africans kereri adi wala yo sponge meanguka. Spongia, spongia, yeah, microphone. Ebunene kama akisi teipata. This is just a sign from God for me to get a new microphone. And the way I bought it expensive. Oh my goodness. Ah, kama ni kuanguka ilianguka mbali sana. The sponge of my microphone just got lost, but I'm going to get a better one. So as I was saying, Africans, all all Africans live on top of trees. And they live on very old trees such as mahogany, mvule, camphor, and I will show you an example of a very old tree, but here then the the residents actually moved to a better tree that is more strong yeah let me just show you as you can see this is still a stream this is still a stream and the water is super clean you can see the underground is this the underground or what <laughs> let me show you let me show you now this tree this tree here it's very old and it's very very long and it has a twin sister there very very the one that you see that is very thick now we had neighbors here but they they went to other trees uh, the ones like mvule and mahogany and camphor that are much much more stronger compared to these ones so if you're watching this video please know that all africans uh we all reside on top of trees we all have tree houses but we reside in tree houses that are very strong that can sustain wind and rain and everything that comes by yeah, and nature. <laughs> My brother is here to correct me, I told you. Yeah, so let us head to where we get our drinking water. <clears throat> Despite these trees being cut, you can see this was a very old tree. And we also have others down there. Despite those trees being cut, uh, kisses here in Kenya, in the western part of Kenya, specifically Nyanza, uh, we plant hundreds of thousands, millions of trees, and we do it for commercial purposes. Yeah. Forgive my heavy breathing because we were now, now down from hill and we are climbing up. We are mid hill. <laughs> now this, this uh, how is it called? Shimo. <clears throat> This Shimo, it has been here since, 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 oh my God, since I was small, it is, has always been here. And this is where we normally fetch our drinking water. So let us go and have a look <clears throat> of it. <sighs> oh my God. <sighs> that's my brother helping me and when we fetch our drinking water we fetch them on this jerry cans we just rinse them a little bit because we were given a strong immunity did you see when coronavirus came who were attacked not us why so we just wash them a little bit and then go on with our business and of course there has to be stairs we have stairs here let me put on this microphone <clears throat> here so that it does not catch water. Yeah, so we have these stairs here and this. Now you can show them here. I don't know how to call this, but this has definitely been here 
for more than a hundred years. Since I was born and I'm a quarter a quarter century, this has always been here. And as I mentioned before, I asked my grandmother where where the where, where the source of this water comes from, and she said that it comes from um it comes from underground nyonyeshe. It comes from underground uh, from rocks, but it is very clean. It is very cool, and it has been filtered. Yeah, so when you come, this is what we do. We rinse these bottles a little bit. This jerry can, just a little bit. We are never attacked by this, this disease because God knew who can afford the medicine when they get sick. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so after rinsing them, we also wash them. We wash them very well. And God knew who can afford medicine. Yeah, God knew who can afford medicine. And he very, very much knew it was not us. That is why here in Africa we do not have snow. Because I'm telling you that snow will have killed everyone. Okay? So he knew where to bring snow so, so that those people there can afford the temperatures. Do the temperatures of the thermometers. <laughs> the thermometers to regulate so that they can keep themselves warm. <laughs> yeah, I know you got my point. I know you did. Yep, so this is where we fetch our drinking water. After we're done, you place it on top here like this. If you want to drink some, you drink some. You wash your hands a little bit, not so much with soap, you know. Those people who get diseases, those people who get diseases, we know them. You know, so God decides who can get those diseases because they're the ones who can afford. <laughs> So yeah, you fetch you fetch water like this, and then you drink. And please don't come here, tell me that I'm wasting water because this water is ever flowing. It is very clean. It is well filtered. It is even oh my god! It is eternal water. Eternal water. It comes from underground, and it has been running like this for the past more than a hundred years, for as long as I can remember. It has always been running out like this. So we just fetch and we drink. Yeah, of course, my brother is assisting me to carry. I cannot carry <laughs> those those things, those jerry cans. <laughs> they are called jerry cans, right? Yeah. He got us. He got us. Hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and also comment. And if you're in the village or even in the city, where do you guys get your drinking water from? But ours is from the rocks, deep, deep down from the rocks. It has been running like that for the last 100 years. Filtered, very clean, very cool, safe, of course. Forgive me, my microphone just got... Yeah, I'll buy another microphone. Yeah, as I was saying, that water is very clean, safe, filtered, cool, and secure for our bodies, definitely. And this is another route. This is not the route that we used when we came. We were using that route down there. But now, we're using this route. And I'm telling you, Kisi, 
It's called Kisi Highlands because we always have hills everywhere. And we are also known for, oh my God, my microphone again just went down. Give me a minute. My microphone got spot. This hook thing, the hook thing. Oh my God. Yeah, we also have lots of uh, bananas. We create, okay, we grow. We grow. <laughs> we grow lots and lots of bananas for commercial purposes and also domestic purposes. Huh? Well, but then as in Uzua, Matoke. He's just trying to, co to correct me in everything. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Make sure you comment below. See you on the next one.